Welcome to English Practice Every Day. The idioms that we will learn today are 1. Come to blows. Come to blows. 2. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. 3. Taking bomb. Taking bomb. 4. Water of a duck's back. Water of a duck's back. 5. Rhyme or reason. Rhyme or reason. 6. Snuff out. Snuff out. 7. May good sense prevail. May good sense prevail. Let's start. Please speak out loud with me. 1. Come to blows. Come to blows means to start fighting physically after a disagreement or argument. At the family gathering, the brothers' old rivalry flared up again and for a moment it seemed like they would come to blows. At the family gathering, the brothers' old rivalry flared up again and for a moment it seemed like they would come to blows. The debate between the rival fans escalated quickly and it looked like they might come to blows before the security intervened. The debate between the rival fans escalated quickly and it looked like they might come to blows before the security intervened. After hours of arguing about whose turn it was to clean the house, the roommates came to blows and had to be separated by a neighbor. After hours of arguing about whose turn it was to clean the house, the roommates came to blows and had to be separated by a neighbor. Out of bounds. Out of bounds means beyond the limits of what is acceptable or allowed. The playground has a sign stating that climbing the fence is strictly out of bounds for safety reasons. The playground has a sign stating that climbing the fence is strictly out of bounds for safety reasons. Jim's jokes about sensitive topics were out of bounds and made everyone uncomfortable during the dinner party. Jim's jokes about sensitive topics were out of bounds and made everyone uncomfortable during the dinner party. During the meeting, the manager made it clear that discussing personal salaries was out of bounds and not appropriate. During the meeting, the manager made it clear that discussing personal salaries was out of bounds and not appropriate. Three, taking bomb. Taking bomb means a situation that is likely to become very dangerous or problematic soon. The neglected chemical waste site near the city is a ticking bomb that poses a significant environmental risk. The neglected chemical waste site near the city is a ticking bomb that poses a significant environmental risk. The unresolved conflict between the employees and management is a ticking bomb that could lead to a strike. The unresolved conflict between the employees and management is a ticking bomb that could lead to a strike. With mounting debts and no viable plan to repay them, the company is like a ticking bomb on the brink of collapse. With mounting debts and no viable plan to repay them, the company is like a ticking bomb on the brink of collapse. Four. 
Water of a duck's back. Water of a duck's back means a criticism or negative comment that has no effect on someone. Despite all the teasing Adam endured at school, the boy let the remarks slide off him like water off a duck's back. Despite all the teasing Adam endured at school, the boy let the remarks slide off him like water off a duck's back. When people try to insult the activist on social media, he doesn't take it seriously. It's just water off a duck's back to him. When people try to insult the activist on social media, he doesn't take it seriously. It's just water off a duck's back to him. Eve has developed such a strong sense of self that negative comments are like water off a duck's back and don't bother her at all. Eve has developed such a strong sense of self that negative comments are like water off a duck's back and don't bother her at all. Five, rhyme or reason. Rhyme or reason means something that is logical, makes sense, or has a clear explanation. The company's decision to close the branch had no rhyme or reason, as it was one of the most profitable locations. The company's decision to close the branch had no rhyme or reason, as it was one of the most profitable locations. Tom's actions seemed to have no rhyme or reason. One day he was friendly and the next day he would ignore everyone. Tom's actions seemed to have no rhyme or reason. One day he was friendly and the next day he would ignore everyone. There was no rhyme or reason to the way Dad arranged his bookshelf, with novels, cookbooks and magazines all jumbled together. There was no rhyme or reason to the way Dad arranged his bookshelf, with novels, cookbooks and magazines all jumbled together. Six, snuff out. Snuff out means to put an end to something or to kill or destroy something suddenly. The government introduced strict regulations to snuff out illegal trade practices in the market. The government introduced strict regulations to snuff out illegal trade practices in the market. The firefighters worked tirelessly to snuff out the flames that threatened to spread to nearby houses. The firefighters worked tirelessly to snuff out the flames that threatened to spread to nearby houses. Ivy's hopes of becoming a singer were snuffed out by a severe throat condition that ended her career early. Ivy's hopes of becoming a singer were snuffed out by a severe throat condition that ended her career early. Seven, may good sense prevail. May good sense prevail means a hope that people will act sensibly and make wise decisions in a situation. Seeing the heated debate between her friends over a trivial issue, Lisa said, May good sense prevail and you both calm down. Seven. 
Seeing the heated debate between her friends over a trivial issue, Lisa said, May good sense prevail and you both calm down. In the midst of the protest, where emotions ran high, one bystander could only hope, may good sense prevail among everyone here. In the midst of the protest, where emotions ran high, one bystander could only hope, may good sense prevail among everyone here. The family was divided over a property dispute and the eldest member repeatedly said, may good sense prevail and we reach a fair decision. The family was divided over a property dispute and the eldest member repeatedly said, may good sense prevail and we reach a fair decision. That's all for this idiom practice session. Please keep practicing the idioms we learned today until next time when we'll pick up seven more idioms and master them. Bye for now.